corner behind us, but having your son and your father here with you, uh, how special is this to be able to enjoy all this, to see where you've come from and the adversity that you've had to get past? That means a lot. I mean, my dad, he's an arrow. He, he named me after him. I named him after me. He's the third. And it means a lot just having that legacy and, um, you know, my son being here and he can witness it once he, he might not remember, but once he get older, you know, he'll see video, he'll see pictures and know that he was there doing training camps and everything like that. And uh, just having him here and just notice that everything I sacrificed is definitely for him and for, for his sisters too. So it means a lot just having him here and just using him as motivation. And um, I'm definitely willing to put on a great show and great performance on Saturday night and do everything that it takes to win this fight. How do you balance fatherhood, your obligations to your family, the media obligations, continuing to prepare for your fight against Terrence Crawford, and also make sure that you're maintaining your rest? Um, it comes with the territory. This is what it takes to be great. Um, you know, I wanted my, my kid around me. <laughs> He running around right now, but I wanted my kid around me, and um, you know I feel confident having my family around. Like this is as long as I've been without uh, my family, my two my two girls. Um, how long? Is, yeah, this is as long as I've been without my two girls, and usually I always have them with me. I trained at home, and had training camp at home, and I've been here for three weeks just to work out. And ain't no goldfish here, baby. This is a big fish. This is a shark. So you can set that goldfish shit up. Uh, so being away from your girls for three weeks, being here in Las Vegas, does that get you meaner? Does that make you that much more, you know, dialed in for what is to come on Saturday? Uh, make making weight made me mean. Uh, just make them. That can make you mean in itself. But um, yeah, being a, being away from the two just made me more, you know, focused and hungry for the victory. But the main thing is, you know, I just want to shut people up, especially the people behind me talking about their goldfish shit. No, hey, no one is track season, man down. And we gonna call, we gonna call fish boil another guy on Saturday night. You said we're gonna have a crawfish boil on Saturday. We definitely gonna have a crawfish boil. We gonna cook them up real good. So everybody make sure y'all bring y'all cake and season. Is, is it a foregone conclusion that we are going to see toe-to-toe -to -toe action inside the ring with you and Terrence Crawford on Saturday. I'm not sure you're going to see toe-to-toe -to -toe action straight out the bat, but it, um, it's definitely going to be a great fight. Y'all know his mentality, you know my mentality. If I push harder, you know you're going to push back even harder. If you push harder at me, I'm going to push back even harder too. So it's definitely going to be an action-packed fight on both sides. I'm definitely going to put on a great show and a great performance. I know he's definitely going to try to put on a great show and a great performance. So make sure everybody tune in on Showtime Pay Per View. Make sure y'all order it. This is going to be a great event. This is going to be one for the history books. This is going to be one you're going to be talking about for a very long time. Assuming things go according to plan and you walk out of T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas with all four belts around you and you're known as the best pound for pound fighter on the planet. Have you thought about what that would mean to Errol Spence Jr., Derek James, your entire family? Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot. Um, it's gonna be great. You know, he got a couple more fights coming up with Jamil Charlo. You know, fighting an undisputed guy, fighting for the undisputed two at 100, 168. Then got Anthony Joshua fighting. So, I mean, this is a great year for him. You know, he'll win Coach of the Year again. But yeah, I know my motto, I, I miss to line them up. So as soon as I take care of this crawfish on Saturday night, is anybody else who wants it? And finally, well, you've been telling me, you've been, you've been applauding this, and you have been proclaiming this for years. It's all about trap season. For those who don't know, what is trap season? It's, it's basically what I've been preaching since the beginning. Trap season started with Kel Brook. <laughs> came to Sean Porter, and then, you know, I got a little hiccups and bumps. Then something happened, I had to face uh, Danny Garcia, but after that, I got the strap Ugas. And then now, like I told everybody, as I get them belts, I'm coming for his fucking strap too. All right, I'll let you go with this. Saturday night, you're known, your promotional company is known as Man Down Promotions. Will it be banned down in terms of Terrence Crawford being down on Saturday when he collides with you at T-Mobile Arena? 
It'll definitely be 39 to 1. I don't know if it's going to be a man down. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up.